Hey guys, we are back for part two of our Jeffree Star mystery box unboxing. Now, if you watched the first part, we had finished, we started unboxing this one and I showed you the shirt and the, it's a lip liner, but I know a lot of people use them as eyeliners. But let's get into this. I'm excited. The main thing that I was excited for was this. Now, this is the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson complete lip set. Now, when I bought mine, I bought it through Beautylish, so I didn't get this absolutely adorable box, which I would have preferred, but that's, you know, I digress. Anyway, I'm super excited. Are these? Okay. I think these are in the right... Mm, no, they're not in the right places. Hold on. Are they? No, they're not. I'm trying to put them where they belong. Okay, so that goes there. Because when I got the box, they were um, not in their proper order. And honestly, this whole collection I was disheartened with, but we won't get into that. We don't really... There's been so much drama about this collection already. We don't need to get into any more. But I did lose respect because obvious reasons. But... Regardless of that, um, I do love the products themselves. Jeffrey's formula is amazing. Um, so I get why these are in here. They're just getting rid of stock because of what happened. But I do love the colors. Um, color Shane's pretty. This is a very pretty color, Rylan. Are you filming? I love reds, the gold. So I will use these. I love the box it came in, which I was really bummed when I ordered from Beautylish and it did not come in this. I was really upset about that, but I'm really glad that I got the little piggy box now. I will be using those. So my originals, because I never swatched them or used them, I may be giving away. So we'll see. Next, I have Tabletop. So I do not know if Tabletop is part of a collection of some sort. Again, um, I'm not a uh, gloss girl, so I don't go out of my way. My best friend likes them. She loves the formula and everything, but it's not my thing. So this is just a, a taupey, and there is glitter in it. I know you really can't see it because my camera's not picking it up. Probably not something I will keep because I'm just not a gloss fan. I do have one or two that I've, I have that I need to try because she loves the formula, and I see glosses are making a comeback. Make it come back. So, need to try that. This is a Unicorn Blood in the Liquid Lip, which I love this color. I own this color. It's just such a great color. So, absolutely, yes, this is one I will be keeping. It's just a nice, deep red. I mean, really great for all skin tones. It's actually, on camera, coming up a little bit brighter than it actually is. But this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I really love wearing red lips. I tend not to wear them at work just because I feel like a red lip. You need to be careful when you wear it in a work situation because it can just come off a certain way that you don't want it to come off. But I do love wearing red. It's one of my favorite colors. I like wearing bright lips when I'm not at work. When I tend, when I am at work, I tend to go for a more of a nude lip, but that sometimes changes. But it tends to be more of a neutral family or mauve and that kind of thing. Next, we got a Velvet Trap, and this is in Hot Commodity. So I was really happy to get one that I didn't have. I only have the red one, and I forget the name of it at the moment. Packaging is beautiful. I'm glad that he kept with the bullet-style packaging for these. And this is the color, which I do love. This was one of the ones I considered getting at the time when I originally ordered. I love how he's got the, um, the stars in there, although... This one, it didn't have a clean break, it looks like, from its mold, but that's okay. One of the stars is, like, a little messed up, but fine. I mean, that might be the reason why it's in here, because it doesn't meet, like, quality standards. Who knows? And that might be why it's here, because the it's not completely perfect. But I don't care. That bright pink has always been a favorite color of mine. Since I was a teenager, I always loved that bright pink on the lip, like that Barbie pink. But, um... It was just one of those things like, I don't know, either people love it on me or hate it on me. It's There's no in between. I've gotten mixed. And next, um, I'm not going to open it, but 
because I already own it. I have an orgy palette here. I should have said that, but I got that palette here. I already own it, so that one will be going on. Um, I'll give that to Crystal to sell. So that's okay. That's what I like about these because you get products you're gonna love. I'm really excited about that little piggy head uh, lipstick set, though. I'm really, really excited. That way. So last but certainly not least, we got the Jabunda here. Oh my goodness. So the first thing on top is this. This is a makeup bag. And I already own it. I'll show you here. Legit already own it. But honestly, I'll keep this one. These hold a lot. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it in yet though. They're really nice. So I wasn't it would have been nice to have gotten a different color, but I mean, that's not their fault. But I'm really happy to have it. I might give it to a friend, though. I might give it to one of my friends. I don't know. It's, it's really nice. Next, I got a sweatshirt, which I did want one. So, it's a basic sweatshirt. It's a baby blue. It says Jeffree Star on it. It's got his name down the side. It's got this candy cane kind of print on the one side. It's super soft. I gotta say, when it comes to his quality, he does make a really good quality product. Um, there's a couple things I wanna order that I might do an order on soon. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, as far as clothing goes. I've never, ever, ever gotten one of the mini lip um, ones. I got the vault, actually. I think they're minis. But I've never gotten one of these style. And I was really excited for this because there's a lot of great colors and there's a few colors in here that I've been wanting to try that I haven't. And this is it. The reds. I think this is the first red collection. So Wifey is one of my absolute favorite reds. And um, what's the other one? Red Rum and Unicorn Blood I love too. But I've been wanting to try Anna Nicole and Prom Night. Calabasas is a another go-to of mine. I love, love this color on me. It's just, oh, I love it. And there's Doll Parts. So Doll Parts, Anna Nicole, and Prom Night, and Watermelon Soda are the four that I don't have. And I have been wanting to try them, but I haven't gotten around to purchasing. So I was really excited to find this in there. And the box is just so cute. Look at that. I'm all about my reds. I love it. So this was awesome to get. We have a cremation palette, but I'm leaving this in its packaging because I have it. Um, what else is here? This is a Skin Frost, which I was actually surprised to see in here. He hasn't done anything with a, his original Skin Frost collection in quite some time. Now, I thought Sarcophagus was um, only in one of his gold palettes. It's a pretty color. I just wanted this was I don't know I could be wrong I thought that this was only in the little six pan one I could be wrong I gotta check so I'm not sure if this is an exclusive item or not I believe the um the hoodie is but so that's sarcophagus and I love these I use these as eyeshadow I use these for a multitude of things um I have a few of them actually next I was so excited for this I'm pretty sure this is an exclusive in here I got a little Jeffree Star ornament. I'm so, I'm so excited. I gotta do a cute little like, I did have a tiny tree. Okay, scratch that. I had two at one point. I had a purple, which I ended up getting rid of last year. And I had a black one that I would do a Nightmare Before Christmas theme on it for Halloween. And then I would go and do the, um, I would do a glamour tree for Christmas. So this would totally have been on that tree, but unfortunately the wiring of that tree, um, it's, when I plugged it in, I walked away from it because I wasn't even sure if it was going to keep it up, but it ended up smoking and we almost had a fire because of this tree and I ended up getting rid of it. So I went to replace it, but now they're like six feet tall and a little bit more expensive. So I don't know, but I, I want to do a cute little glamour tree. And I want to put this on here. I think that looks so cute and I'm really excited for it. It's the actual little mirror. It's so cute. I love it. So then I have... The Blue Raspberry Sucker Scrub, which this one I don't have. I only have the Watermelon Soda. So I'm excited to give this a try. Oh my god. Oh, that smells good. 
I know that his are edible. I have bought ones from shops that are not edible. Oh, we're running out of time. Oh no, I better hurry. Sorry guys, I'm out of memory. Um, we got a regular translucent powder. This stuff smells like candy canes. It's amazing and I totally recommend. And there's only two more items. So we're gonna do that before I run out of memory. I got a mirror, which this one I believe I already own. This is the uh, metallic white iridescent. Let me get it open. Oh, we're not gonna make it. I know it. So that's the mirror. And the last thing we got is the safe word gloss. Because I know we are running out of time.